one of the speaker manufacturers on my personal watch list is Ortizen. They make good speakers that are just a little bit different. This is the Ortizen X12 lantern speaker. What makes the X12 a lantern speaker? Well, the shape obviously, and it's got that distinctive lantern handle, but you can also switch this to lantern mode. Behind this chiseled speaker grill, we have two 25 watt full range drivers for a total of 50 watts. And then in the rear, we have dual passive radiators to help with the bass. On the front of the pedestal, we have the speaker controls. This is power slash play pause, volume down slash previous track, volume up slash next track. Then we have the mode select, and we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Then we have the lighting control. There are four modes to choose from or off, and you also long press this to change the brightness. And this is for party mode. We're going to talk more about that later too. Behind this rubber plug, we have the input ports. This is your USB-C charging port, TF card slot, U-Drive port, three and a half millimeter auxiliary input, and your equalizer switch. There are three positions for rock, pop, and jazz. Whenever I see a rubber plug, I ask myself, is this speaker waterproof? Kind of. It's IPX5 water resistant. So you could splash this, it could be in a light rain, but do not submerge this speaker, it will not fare well. Many people appreciate a battery level indicator and you have one right here. However, you probably won't have to worry about the battery too much. There is a 9900 milliamp hour battery in here and with a five hour charge, you should get about 24 hours of playback at 50% volume. Not bad. You can also use that 9900 milliamp hour battery as a power bank for your external devices. What's this party mode I mentioned? I'll get to that, don't worry. But I know there are people out there that are wondering about the hands-free calling option of the X12. Well, let me tell you, I called somebody and she said that I sounded almost as good as if I was just using the phone by itself. That's a good endorsement. What about that party mode you mentioned? Yeah, I'm getting to that, but first, let me tell you about the 50 watts of power in the X12. Unlike many speakers, the entire 50 watts are usable and they sound good. Sure, after about 50%, you lose some of the nuance. I'm more of a 50% guy, but if you want to just crank it all the way up, you can do that and not worry, it's going to sound fine. If you like bass, this speaker has bass, but I do recommend that you use the EQ mode of rock. The pop and the jazz modes just sound so weak. In fact, I would recommend that everybody, regardless of the kind of music you're listening to, use the rock mode. Unless you just simply must boost the treble, then consider pop or jazz, but I just don't think they sound that good. Sounds good, great bass, fantastic. But what about party mode? Yeah, hold on. I just wanna let you know that when you put new media in any of these inputs, it detects it right away and switches to that. And I think that's a nice feature. I know I'm forgetting something, what was it? Oh yeah, party mode. Party mode seems to be the successor to TWS. TWS is true wireless stereo. You could wirelessly connect two identical speakers for a left and right channel experience. Party mode is a little bit different. You could connect two, three, four, five, up to 100 identical speakers. Can you imagine? <laughs> 150 watt speakers, that's 5,000 watts. With party mode, you designate a primary speaker. Every other participating speaker in the area becomes a secondary speaker which are then controlled by whatever the primary speaker does. One big difference between TWS and party mode is that TWS is stereo with left and right channels. Party mode is just replication, so everybody's playing the same thing. The X12 has solid construction. I wouldn't want to throw it down the stairs or anything, but I don't think you'll have any problem in day-to-day -day use. This speaker is obviously designed to be set on a surface or you could hang it by the handle, but just keep in mind this is over four pounds, so make sure whatever you're hanging it from is sturdy. The only thing I don't like about the X12 
are these black on black buttons. It's so common in the industry. These are small and they're hard to see. If you don't have direct light, you cannot read these. Just put some ink on the buttons. <laughs> It's such an easy fix and such a valuable usability feature. You have to be able to see the buttons to use the buttons. What do I think about the X12? Many speakers have a frivolous RGB lighting system. Ordizen takes that to the next level by giving you a lantern option. I like that. It's a little weird. <laughs> it's, it's a lantern, but weird in a, a good way. However, this control scheme is unforgivable. I am going to give this a four out of five star rating just for that. Thanks for stopping by.